G'day, this is Peter, back with another episode of The Property Club. Today, I'm very excited because we're doing Metro Manila condos for sale from 1 to 2 million pesos. So every condo that I show you today is my picks from 1 to 2 million pesos. So very affordable. We're focusing on the center of Manila, Metro Manila. We're looking at Pasig. Ortigas, Makati, Tagig, Pasai, and Paranyaki. So only in the center of this city being Metro Manila. We're not going as far as, uh, you know, Quezon City, for example. However, there will be a few properties that are on the SLEX around Alabang because Alabang, I think, is a really nice area, and I did include a couple of those listings in this. Okay, let's begin. Starting... At 1.5 million is this 40 square meter loft. Check this loft out. At Cambridge Village in Pasig City for 1.5 million. What a bargain. Very cheap indeed. Let's have a quick look. 1.5 million divided by 40 square meters is 37 and a half thousand peso per square meter. The 37,000 peso per square meter. Whoa, that's cheap. Moving along. We've got some extremely affordable properties today from 1 to 2 million peso. Nothing on this list today costs more than 2 million peso. So 1.6 million for this one. It's a condominium unit. In Manila, it says near Ayala Avenue, Makati. So it's actually in Makati. I think it's actually on the border of Manila and Makati, nearby to Ayala Ave. So it's not quite Makati. Anyway, these are the pictures. 1.6, 21 square meters. A little bit more expensive, but a decent looking condo. And this is in the Euphrates building. Manila River City Residences. So it does say Santa Ana, Manila. So it's on the border, Santa Ana, Manila and Makati. Actually not bad for 1.6 million it's a good location. It's a gated community as well with access to public transport. Now this one is a new building honestly I'm not all that fond of it but I just wanted to include it because you might be it's a new building and you can get this on terms it is located in Tondo, Manila. So, you know, some foreigners might not feel safe in Tondo because Tondo can be known to be a bit of a dangerous area. I personally would not live here, but some of you might feel comfortable here and might want a brand new unit from 1.6 million peso. So worth looking at if you're not concerned about the location. Actually, to be fair, Tondo is a good location. It's just that it's known as a bit of a ghetto. Honestly, it's, it's known as a bad area. But the location where it is near Manila Bay is a great location. It's just that they need to clean the area up. And I think over time, it will get better. So the next one is the Presidio Lakefront Condo. So this is on the lakefront in Alabang, priced at 1.6 million peso. That's the building there. Sorry, the picture quality is not all that good, but actually it is a very nice condominium building, Presidio Lakefront. The size is pretty reasonable, really. It's 26.94. They were pricing this at 2 million, but there is a promotion on this building at the moment, 20% discount. I believe that is for cash. So you must buy with cash. I don't think they'll give this price if you ask for bank financing or terms. Uh, but if it's a cash price, they'll do it at 1.6, which is pretty good for this building. It's a nice development. Check it out. Presidio Lakefront. Very close to Alabang. The next one, and I was very surprised about this particular one. Yes, it's a smaller unit. It's 21.20 square meters. So only a small unit but it's priced at 1.62 and what's surprising is it's extremely rare to find an Avida 
or an Ayala project that's priced under 100,000 peso in Metro Manila. So this is 1.62 divided by 21.2 is 76,415 peso per square meter and that's the asking price so for a Vita Tower Sukkot at 1.6 million peso you just can't go wrong that is a bloody bargain and a very livable location and building I'm very excited about these condos today very well priced so we've got another one in Manila River City. This is bigger, it's 29.5 square meters, priced at 1.8 million. Just trying to expand that for you. That's the build, that's the uh, inside of the condo internally. Oh, the floor pods look a bit funny, like they've been changed up. Hmm, be careful there, there could be water damage. Usually that's the case when they've changed up the uh, floorboards like that. Just be cautious. But very cheap, 1.8 million for 29.5 square meters. That's a decent price indeed. It's not far from the Rizal Park, a big park there, and Manila Bay. And that area is definitely getting cleaned up now. It's on the up and up. That's the floor plan. Decent living space. Moving along. This, I almost fell off my chair. I'm, I kid you not, this is just so awesome. And I'm glad I actually took the time to look for properties, affordable properties priced between one and two million because I found this gem. And honestly, this is the best property probably tonight for myself personally. I think this is a fantastic buy. Absolutely wonderful. It's East Bay Residences, guys. It's 25 square meters. This is the smaller unit, priced at 1.872. If you're not familiar with this development, this is by Rockwell. It's a studio unit. Yes, it's, it's small, but it's a nice unit. It's a lovely unit by a great developer. It is developed by Rockwell. That's the unit there. And these are the facilities that you get for 1.8 million peso. Honestly, it's just ridiculously cheap. I really like this development. Very, very cheap. It's affordable. It, it, this, It's not that unit. That's just an example of another unit, nor is it that unit. It's the studio unit. I'll just go back to it. That's the unit there. 25 square meters for 1.8 million. Absolute steal. What a bargain. The next condominium is Central Park City, and it's a loft. Only one picture, 40 square meter, very cheap, quite near to Ortigas. So it's in Pasig City, and that's the loft. They just show you the stairs to show you that it's two levels, but a decent sized unit and a loft for 1.8 million peso. Just need some water quickly. This is a pre-selling condominium by Cityland. Cityland often does developments that are affordable and decent developments. This is priced at 1.9 million and it is 20 square meters. So it is brand new, it is pre-selling at that price. But for the location, Alabang, very good location indeed. Well worth it. And this is what the unit looks like. Sorry, going back. That's what the unit looks like. So only small, but at 1.9 for a brand new unit in a prime location, very decent. Moving along. As per usual, I price this from lowest, well, cheapest to most expensive. Okay, check this out, guys. Okay, this is on... Uh, Polaris, I'm pretty sure it's Polaris or, or Barajos Street, just off P. Burgos. It's priced at 1.9 million. Yes, it's in the middle of Makati. Uh, if you're familiar with Makati, it's very close by to Heckle and Jekyll, handlebars, uh, a lot of nice pubs, 
a few good restaurants there too as well as the red light city what I like about this building is it's just off P Burgos it's not on P Burgos because personally I wouldn't want to buy on P Burgos because it is kind of like the red light city strip it's just off uh, P Burgos and behind uh, you know that area is really nice and up and coming they've got nice little cafes they've got a few clubs some bars like I said heckle and Jekyll handlebars they've also got alchemy there it is a great location very happening and exciting area the building is Bel Air Soho guys it's only small it's 22.7 square meters honestly I was seeing condos at this price in this building selling at this price probably eight or nine years ago it is incredibly priced incredibly well priced um, only just six months ago I was seeing condos that look exactly the same as this priced at like 2.9 2.95 as high as low threes like 3.2 3.3 I was speaking to an agent the other day and she was saying that she just sold one in this building for 2.95 very good deal okay so there is this one this is the only listing tonight in in QC uh, Kazon City so I can't expand the photo I'll try and zoom in for you okay and I did this because look it did look like a very nice condo it's a small loft 24 square meters priced at 1.9 million peso these are the pictures very decent indeed for the price high ceilings maximize space and it's new so very livable nice and bright moving along so the next is very close by to BGC it's the Ridgewood Towers in Tagig City so very very close it doesn't take long to get to BGC from this condominium building at all and it's priced only at 2 million pesos so just under a hundred thousand peso per square meter and I know for a fact you can probably negotiate hard on this one it's a rush sale uh, they're looking for a cash buyer so if you're looking for an affordable option near BGC this is the one for you it's just off the C5 all you got to do is cross the C5 and you're in BGC very very close by two point two million for this condominium in Pasig City which is a rush sale in Windsor Mansion very nice building actually it's a good building look at the high ceilings you can see the ceilings there it's a sizable condominium I believe it was 40 square meters 40 square meters there sizable for 2.2 million peso very sizable what a bargain the next is located in the middle in the very middle the center of Ortigas it is an older style building it's the Corinthian executive regency in Ortigas and it's at the back of Robinson's Galleria you might know Robinson's it's only a studio I'm guessing it's probably around 25 square meters it doesn't say the square meterage rate uh, it's got a pool on the top believe it or not actually my office is very close to this location it's a prime location uh, in <clears throat> Ortigas so that's the location there it's just literally off 80 80 B Avenue and just behind here is Robinson's Galleria great if you want a central location that's all about location location now this one is Sun Valley Paranyaki priced at 2.3 million so 2.3 million divided by 42 square meters is 54,000 peso per square meter for this two bedroom condominium let's see if I can increase the size actually when I click it it looks smaller so let's just use this this is the condominium in Sun Valley Paranyaki 
and it looks like a low rise building I do like the low rise and it's possible this could have parking you must inquire just contact Marlon and Marlon will let you know very decent size see yep low rise very very decent size 42 square meters for only 2.3 million peso okay so this is in Makati again this is one of the deals that I almost fell over you know on my chair I went oh my god that's crazy 33 square meters in the Oriental Garden in Makati for 2.4 million alright that's the unit actually there's two units for sale I believe it might be a foreclosure and you've got to go to that website which is vigatatintrade.com I've been to the website it's okay um, there are some shady listings you've got to be careful some listings are okay some are not alright so just be careful some agents are playing a switch and bait strategy so just be cautious this is priced at 2.45 sorry 2.475 divided by 33 square meters is 75,000 peso per square meter in Makati Makati guys wow there's a lot of stock coming on the market at the moment some really good price condominiums in Metro Manila I think this COVID-19 is really starting to heat up uh, in a big way in a big way and like I said this is going to be the second last video in the series for Manila and then I'm going to move on to the next area which is Cebu and Visayas and I've been doing a lot of research on that lately the next one it is a sacrifice sale unfortunately I can't do the price per square meter but this is a sacrifice sale guys it's 2.5 million in Avita Towers New Manila so that's in San Juan near Green Hills is my understanding so 2.5 million peso for an Avita Ayala project very good deal indeed sacrifice sale 2.5 million again very good deal there's some awesome awesome bargains here tonight the next one 2.58 or 08 is the Amaya Steps and it's close by to SM in Bikutan Bikutan let's have a look at the pictures this is on carousel I found this on carousel Amaya is a good building it's a decent building I'm pretty sure Amaya might have been done by Avida again Amaya Steps moving along East Bay Residences yes I can't believe that East Bay Residences we found two listings this evening for East Bay Rockwell it's a Rockwell development you can't go wrong with Rockwell actually this is 37 square meters 37 it's a one bedroom at 2.569 million check this out this is East Bay and this is uh, this listings provided by Makoto need to contact him on dot property that pool yeah I've always wanted to buy a Rockwell development and it's this unit it's this unit here this is the floor plan 37.1 square meters it is a true one bedroom condominium and it even looks to have a nice balcony there and the balcony looks like it spans across both the bedroom and the living space very nice indeed I can't believe it and earlier I showed a studio condo which was 1.8 and this one is a one bedroom at 2.5 extremely good buy I, I just can't believe it it's just crazy so 2.569 divided by 37 square meters is only 69,000 peso per square meter this is the best price per square meter condo you will see tonight because look at the end of the day it's a Rockwell development it's a lovely development at 69,000 peso per square meter you just cannot go wrong 
Okay, so this does not have pictures. It does not have the square meterage. I had to include it because it is in McCarty. It's unit 1014, 10th floor of the Loriano de Trevi Tower 1. And this is in Makati City, priced at 2.65 million. Makati, at that price, wow. I was shocked to find anything in Makati at the, you know, within a 1 to 2 million peso range. It's just crazy. All right, this is again shocked me. Real, it's rocked me, in fact. Uh, it says high-end condo unit with signature amenities, the best location below market value, only 2.75 million. Okay, they were wanting four, four million, and I know before COVID-19, these were selling for around that price. This is the Azza, the Azza building, the Azza development, I should say. So it's a resort. Well, it's a resort-style condominium development in Paranyaki. And it's got this pool that's kind of like... It looks like a pool, but it's supposed to be like a beach. I think it even has waves. I think the pool actually makes waves as well. And you swim in it like, like a beach. <laughs> so that's the beach there, yeah. So great for kids. A lot of holiday makers go here because they love it. Um, there are a lot of people that are buying these as a units and putting them on Airbnb, actually. Apparently, most of the units at one stage became Airbnb. Not sure if they're still doing Airbnb there or not. You'd have to check. Um, but there was some complaints uh, because apparently there were so many people at the beach here because a lot of people were holidaying here because it had been turned into a, an Airbnb uh, condominium development. Uh, that's the one there. Fairly new. It's only a few years old. It's on the night floor with a city view. Looks like it has a balcony in the back there and glass sliding doors to separate the living space and the bedroom. Not a bad, bad property at all, really. So yeah, that's the pool there. That's the beach. You can see the sand. Really cool. Really, really cool. Very modern. Uh, this development's by Century City. And I remember when they were marketing this development, Actually, it was Paris Hilton who was marketing it. She was the model. Uh, she was the face of this development, believe it or not. Moving along. 2.8 million peso. Promo price, it was 4.2. It was 4.2 into gig near BGC and McKinley Hill. BGC, guys, 2.8 million and we're talking how many square meters? Sorry, it doesn't tell me the square meterage, but looks modern, nice pool, nice facilities, big balcony. Look at that balcony. I wonder if the view has, uh, you know, a glimpse of the city, either Makati or BGC. It'd be great if the uh, from the balcony you could see a bit of bit of the city view. Very nice. I wish they showed a picture of the view because if you saw BGC and you know all of that, wow, at 2.8 million, what a bargain. Okay, so this is located at Northgate Alabang. It's 2.8 million. It's an awesome location uh, in Alabang, 30 square meters priced at 2.8 million so just under a hundred thousand peso per square meter this is the building this is the unit here it looks like they've been using it as a bed space so what happens in these BPO areas like Ortigas, Makati, BGC, Alabang they have bed spaces so they might have like two of these bank bunks and rent out to like four people at like five or six thousand peso per head so they might rent it out to like four people um, for around about that price. That's that's what happens. That's what happens. So it even says the rental rate is fifteen to twenty thousand peso per month. So yeah, they, they probably what they do is they charge four thousand peso per person, something like that. And workers in in the BPO hubs, they'll take it up at four to five thousand peso because it's cheap, and they want to be close to work. <clears throat> 
Okay, so the next, get this, 2.9 milli. And it's fully furnished Avida Towers, Alabang Tower 2. It is a studio unit. It is 22 square meters. So yes, it is smaller, but the location is prime, 2.9 divided by 22 so they're asking 131,000 peso per square meter for an Avida project in Ayala Ayala Alabang in the center very nice good deal that one yeah Alabang right in the center the CBD near the BPO hub and it's an Ayala it's an Avida development okay this is cool this is really cool. I love Ortigas. I think Ortigas is awesome. This is the Pearl Place. This is the cheapest unit I found in Pearl Place. It doesn't list the square meterage, but I'm pretty sure it's like mid 20 something like that. So it's probably priced just over 100,000 peso per square meter. This is the unit. Let me see if I can increase the size. So it's probably a Muso or someone um, with this unit. Looks like they've got it as a bit of a pad. Uh, might even be an expat living here and who knows they probably have parties here <laughs> by the looks of it looks like you know they've probably had some fun times I like what they've done with the unit it looks like this is actually a bed here and underneath might be like bean bags or somewhere to study or you know do some work on your laptop whereas you know you climb this little ladder here and then you got the bed up here that's kind of cool really funky little unit this they're trying to make the most of the space and it is in the Pearl Place Tower in the middle of Ortigas. Fantastic location. So actually they've got a couch there so that's what they're doing. They've got a couch and they've got the TV. Uh, they've got lots of room to sit actually so most likely it sounds like uh, well sorry it looks like uh, most likely they've used this uh, maybe for their friends to play some music to chat have a coffee and really enjoy <laughs> look at that really cool really cool I love it only 2.9 million I actually really like this unit very cool moving along Ortigas Rush Sale and this is in Cityland Grand Emerald and it's 30 square meters so just under a hundred thousand peso per square meter as an asking price Again, right in the middle, smack bang, in Ortigas, very close to Robinson's, and not far from the Podium Mall. Both are, you know, only minutes walking distance away. And I believe Cityland Grand Emerald Tower is located, like, directly opposite Robinson's. So Robinson is literally just a jump over the road, and you're at Robinson's. Take you a minute. Great location, great price. Price under a hundred thousand peso per square meter for this unit. Moving along, Eastwood. So apparently they were asking four point seven million for this condominium in Eastwood Park View. They've dropped it to two point nine million peso. This is the unit, thirty square meter. It's like a little thirty square meter one bedroom. high ceilings, good location, smack bang in the middle right next to the BPO's. Very good price. And the last unit of tonight. So this is the Tivoli Gardens and it's priced at 2.923 square meters. Modern condo inside. It's only a little studio but the location is nice. Actually Tivoli Gardens is located in Mandaluyong it's on the border of Mandaluyong and Makati. You just cross the bridge and then bam, you're in, in Makati. So a lot of foreigners do actually live here. A lot of expats live here because they, they think it's cheaper, it's affordable, and then they just cross the bridge, head over to Makati. So it's a really good location, nice facilities. And I heard my friend, one of my friends, uh, Zach, shout out to Zach, I believe um, uh, he knows this building well. <laughs> and he was saying, um, there's actually a bar close bar by to this building and uh, he gets really good prices on drinks 
and he just loves this building. So I had to uh, feature this and, and shout out to Zach. And this is the play area. It's a nice development. That's the bridge. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, so you just cross this bridge here, right? So this is Mandaluyong on this side. You cross this bridge to the left. That way is Rockwell. And if you go straight ahead, you've got Makati City. So great location and a great price at 2.9 million peso. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Peter from the Property Club. Please do share, like, and subscribe, and double thumbs up. Bye for now. Bye-bye.